Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Juicy Content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe. To Hi, like Patreon. Sorry, I haven't. I'm, I've been planning it in my notes to send you guys a video. I'm going to be doing it very soon. Ooh, nude. Always. Always naked. All of my Patreon videos are always naked. Why do you think I have so many people on Patreon? That's. Yeah, gross. <laughs> Today, we're doing a movie of you. Of the new film that just came out on Netflix. 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 Yep. That's where all the nets flock. <laughs> Called Darlings. Yep. Uh, the Directed by uh, Jas uh, Jasmine Reen. Uh, I think she did some uh, writing for it as well. And uh, also written by Pravi uh -huh. Parviz Sheik. Or uh, Sheik. I don't forgive the mispronunciation. Produced by... Ali Abad and I believe Red Chilies is correct, the, uh, and then starring which is Eternal Sunshine, her production yes. company. I th I thought so. Good, great, good great, for you. Great, great name. Great, and also great little uh, yeah, uh, the little, little intro little, thing little that they do for intro it. for the companies. That's very fitting. Uh, starring Ali Abad, uh, our future dost. Yes, and Shafali Shah, also our future dost, and our current dost. Yep, Vijay Varma. Yep, uh, and uh, also composed. Uh, by uh, the one and only Vishal Bardwaj and Prashant Palai. They did it together. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, Abhishek casted it. Yep. Well, he's one of the three casting directors. One of the three director. casting directors. But anyways, I don't know what they were in regard to. I just noticed that. I didn't notice that before. But anyways, uh, obviously this is going to be a mostly non-spoiler review just because it just came out. Yeah. That's why I said that's right, mm, correct? Yes. It just released, so yeah. this is going to be a non-spoiler until when the very, we, very end. When we get to the spoilers, obviously, the the way this film is, you kind of have to talk about spoilers at some point. Yeah. Um, so, but since it's new, that's the only time we do some non-spoiler reviews, is in case you haven't watched it and want to go watch it. Um, so this will be the start of the non-spoiler review. Yes. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Don't let mixed reviews you see or mixed rating scores that you see keep you from watching darlings um did you see some mixed reviews i did i i saw like not anything bad but mm. not anything superlative and it also wouldn't surprise me that there will be mixed thoughts on whether they like it or not i mm. think there will be people not for some of the reasons that you might think I'm not talking about hashtag boycott Alia at all. I'm talking about some of the things that we're going to get into. Ultimately, for me, and I, that's why I specifically wanted to say at the beginning, I think you should absolutely watch it. I think the majority of you are going to like it. I don't think any of you will dislike it. There may be some things in it you may dislike, but mm. for me, I liked it a lot. I was hoping I was going to love the movie. Not every movie becomes one that you love. Mm. I I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I liked it as well. Uh, I, I I definitely enjoyed this film. Um, I think it, just from knowing what you get in the trailer, you kind of get it in the film, and so yeah. that's that's always a plus. Yep. Uh, and it did take some twists and turns, and it brings up important subject matters and also real life things that just happen in life it's not a shock that this is about domestic violence right and so if you have a trigger about domestic violence i'm not sure you should watch this film hence part of the mixed bag as far as people liking or not liking the film everybody has different triggers yep and so if your trigger is if you've been in an abusive relationship or if that's just triggering for you mm -hmm. just to let you know it showed it in the trailer this is about domestic abuse it's yeah, a they dark comedy but it's a it's about domestic abuse. Yes, and without giving anything away, while it is a dark comedy, don't um, it it doesn't go go so far afield that it becomes uh, really really dark. Like um, it it definitely is. If you do have a trigger, you probably will not want to watch it because there are some moments, as are revealed in the trailer, that could be triggering to, to to somebody that that's done on a couple of occasions. Um, but we'll get into it without, with again, non-spoiler. Uh, I, the thing it's my, we talk about this a lot and you'll often talk about one of the things you had wished about a film is your own personal tastes. Yeah. That's for me, a couple of things that I had wished things were a certain way yet at the same time, I understand why they were chosen the way that they were. I put in my notes that I think that the film, in fact, let me see how I wrote this. Cause I wrote a lot of notes. Um, I wrote, this is a much smarter movie than many people will realize. Yeah. 
Um, it has, and and it does. I think the highest accolade I could give to it, other than just you're gonna. What do you expect with the three leads? Yes, you're gonna get solid performances, and you do. Yeah. So n- nothing but great performances by the actors. Yes. Um, but I, I wrote that this is a much smarter movie, and it does. I think, and this is a credit to the writing. I think it does a pretty great job of taking something that's really difficult to talk about and formatting it in such a way that can be accessible to a broad audience. Part of that's my gripe. Mm -hmm. Part of that's my gripe. I would have loved to have been at the pitch meeting and then even the, the writing process and heard what the thoughts were behind everybody, but especially Alia in terms of that prospect, which we'll get into probably in the spoiler section. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that. But uh, the performances, let's just get into those right now, and then we'll get into some of the story later. Um, I think, uh, it, I don't even know where to start. Alia, let's Alia, just start with Alia. Alia. It's her film. Uh, produced, starring, she's a star. Did a fantastic job. Um, she brought the emotion when she needed to bring the emotion in certain aspects without giving anything away. And, and doing it honestly. And obviously bringing the comedy that she, I think, comes so naturally to her. Yes. She has a, just like we saw her first in Gully Boy. Her intensity, her her lovability adds to her presence on screen. Yes. Um, and it, it helps you care for her characters and, and relate to her characters. And it just seems like the, the comedic aspects, not that there's like, a, oh, here's the punchline jokes in this. No, it's, thankfully. It's, not this it's very of, subtle, funny stuff. It's not this kind of film. It's a dark comedy, and so most of it's situational. And, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that's really subtle, funny. I don't want to give anything away. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff. Just pay attention. Yeah. For a, for a movie that's pretty light in a lot of spots, it's it's very heady. Mm-hmm. It's it's not um, a dumb comedy, dark comedy at all. No. Oh, yeah. No, you don't get a lot of like in Deli Belly, even though obviously we love Deli Belly. I love Deli Belly. There's some really stupid stuff that happens yeah. in Deli Belly. Yeah, there's you, no, you don't there's get no that here. real highbrow, even ulterior, like secondary, like... Here's the card, but what I'm really showing you is back over here. There's a lot of that in yeah. this. Well, there's none of that in Deli Belly. Um, and you don't need it, but this this has it. She, she was phenomenal. Agreed. Um, had great chemistry with both of them. Agreed. Um, when when Sp- cert- uh, no just spoilers, but um, her mother, especially with Shafali Shah. Shah. It, it, she probably gives the best performance, and that's not a shock because I think it's she's the veteran. Of the group, right? And her character's more complex. Yeah. And so obviously yeah. there's a lot going there's on a, that we won't get into. Not that the other two don't have complexity. They're very f- well fleshed out but characters. It's just like in the Topeka's film. Topeka was great. And so was our, right. our other lead from Gully Boy. But Nasseradin comes in and you're like, oh shit. Sure. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Veterans just have this certain presence just because it's experience or the fact that they just are who they are. Yeah. She's a phenomenal actress. Yeah. And I can't wait to talk to her one day because I love her Me too. so much. And, I think and she's Alia. one of the most underrated actors. Because like I feel like people say certain names, but Shafali is not often, even though people that love film know Shafali Shah. Right. People in the industry know Shafali Shah and know what kind of actress yeah. she is. But I feel like she's not mentioned enough. <laughs> Interestingly, he's only fresh in my mind and you'll know you'll know why. But it's very comparable to me as like James Cromwell. Like everybody recognizes him and everyone in the industry has deep, deep respect for this legend, right? But the general public, they're like, oh, that's the guy from Babe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw him on Succession, you know? They know him as this guy who's been a working actor all his life, but in the industry, everybody's like, that's James Cromwell. That's Shafali Shah. That's Shafali Shah. Yeah. yeah, she's a phenomenal, she does a phenomenal job. She really carries the weight, like, uh, the, the almost, I don't want to say the heart of him, because you say Alia does as well. Yeah, she but, does. But, like, um, she, she, it's hard to get in without spoilers, but um, she just does a phenomenal job. Her chemistry with Alia is great. Uh, I yeah. really believe their mother-daughter relationship. Um, I, I would love... I would love to see, and here I am, it doesn't have to be a remake at all, but man, would I love to see them do a film like Thelma and Louise. Oh yeah, that'd be good. I know it's different because those characters are equals in terms of like the age and the place, but that kind of a film where the whole thing is them carrying it in that way, I think they could make a juggernaut of a great movie. Yeah. And then uh, our other lead, Vijay Varma, our dost, yeah. uh, did a really good job, really different performance for him here, actually. Very. Because um, for the most part, uh, outside of, uh, I mean, it, it's is that, a, is that a spoiler that he's... 
That he, well, I was. You're having the same thought I did. I want to talk about it because I have a compliment for him about what yeah. you're going to say. But he I does think it's really good. It's, it's in that. the spoiler section. I'll save that. So, it's, it's, this film's hard to talk about non-spoilers. And let's just say. There's something that VJ does with this character that other actors wouldn't do. They would go a very particular route because that is what is pretty much given in the script. And he doesn't play that. No. Yeah. He goes in a very different direction and it, it works because he's that good of an actor. Yes. And so he Agreed? did. Agreed? Yes. Good, good Absolutely. non-spoiler. <laughs> Absolutely. And then uh, we'll get into some more stuff because there's a lot of stuff in spoilers that I think I, we want to talk about. Yeah. Because I, this film's hard to talk about non-spoilers. It is. The reason I didn't love it before we get into spoilers, for those of you who won't watch the spoiler section before seeing the film, is it's really kind of 50-50 percent this. 50% of it is my own personal preferences. That bears nothing on the film itself. I see the value of those things just because it's my personal preference, yeah. right? The other 50% is there are some things in the story, particularly with VJ's character, that strain credulity for me so far afield that it takes me away from it in a film that's otherwise trying to be pretty grounded. It has farcical things, but there are a couple of things for me in the writing that were, I don't know if they were ignored or they were not researched, but in my mind, it was kind of like, how could you not have considered that and at least addressed that? Uh, and maybe the thought was, well, we don't think anybody in our audience is going to think that way. And that, that may be the case. But those were the reasons for me. Mm, and yeah. I'll get into the details in the spoiler. Uh, I, I think you could have probably made this film just un a little under two hours as opposed to maybe two hours. I think it's 16. True, uh, to yeah. To make it a little more snappy. Yeah. It wasn't long. It didn't feel it like... It doesn't drag. It doesn't drag, but I just feel like you could have made it a little snappier. And so these would be my gripes for the, with the film. Um, and I... I always prefer darker, and so I think they could have gone even farther. At well, that's times. yeah, that's I part and of I, my. I figured we'll that's get what into you were the spoiler, saying, yeah. But I, that that would be my other gripe. I my personal preference would be go even farther in certain th aspects of yeah. this domestic abuse. Uh, right? Of course, of right? course, yes. Uh, just and great score. I mean, it's <laughs> what a surprise! It's Vishal Bardot. It's a very good score. Oh, it's a very good score. <laughs> yes. Uh, so overall, it's definitely worth a watch. You definitely, definitely worth go watching. see it. It's a. It's a. I, hard to say enjoyable film, but it is a very good film. Very, enter it's very entertaining for for the subject matter it is. Yep, it's a very entertaining film. I, I want to hats off to Alia for this being her first producing venture to yes. go with a film like this as yes. opposed to like a something. And we'll that, get into the spoilers. That could be like a commercial commercial. Right, we're gonna get into that right now. Uh, <laughs> the spoiler section. But anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the. Oh wait, no, no, mind. I'm not. Not yet. Yet. not yet. If you haven't seen the film, please go watch it and then come back. We're going to get into some spoilers. You've been warned. Thank you so much. This is just for everybody who's seen the, the movie. Yeah. Yeah, so um, what do you want to talk about? Okay. Um, let's talk about what you were just talking about because okay. I might forget it. Um, I would love to talk to Alia about... Um, and I don't know if she'd want to talk about it publicly. She may would just want to have the conversation, you know, having a breakfast or something, which I would, I would, I would just love to know... Because I felt like um, she did a, a really dangerous thing, per se, but also was really safe. It's a weird mix. Like, I saw a lot of choices that were made about doing this film in what I would consider to be a very safe way in terms of its commercial success, going OTT versus going theatrical release, making it accessible to a broader audience without it being as dark as it, you and I would have preferred. And I understand that from a producer's point of view. You you really, your first film, you want to do, put everything in your corner so you can get a win. I get that. At the same time, there's there's parts of it that the subject matter, I think would have been, if the purpose of the film, if the why of the film is to raise awareness about domestic abuse, um, I think you need to, you need to go way darker. Mm. And, and, and you can still make it a dark comedy. But like... I knew it was coming. There, were, there was nothing I didn't see coming, really. Um, I wrote down in my notes before it happened. He is about to be really violent with her, and she's going to have a miscarriage. Hmm. I knew that was going to happen. But I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Yeah. Um, you, so you were basically talking about the violence aspect of it, to, to make it seem a little more uh, hard-hitting and believable. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. More, um, it didn't have to go this far afield, hmm. but I was, I was, 
I would have loved to have seen something more along the lines for her first producing endeavor, an artistic statement like precious mm. about this subject. Yeah, clearly, but I think they were but, clearly going for more commercial. And I bet if I knew her rationale, I'd probably go, I get it, I understand it, totally agree. Yeah. It's just because I don't know the rationale. Yeah, my, my bet is that it's... It's the commercial accessibility and success. Commercial accessibility. Get a, get a win. I mean, yep. you're, you're pushing the line with families here. And that's, that's where, as much as I didn't like the choice, mm. I think they did about as good a job as you can yeah. to have this subject matter still be accessible to the whole family. Yeah. I agree. Not the little ones. No. But kids. Yeah, I agree. Older kids could watch um, this film. But yeah, that was with their that, family. That was my gripe as well. Obviously, I always prefer to go a little more in your face, right? Um, yes. But um, I want to talk about uh, VJ's, uh, VJ's character because I thought uh, he did a fantastic job at, at and the writing of their relationship. Yeah. Because their writing of their relationship was so realistic. Yeah, agreed. In what a lot of people women mostly but they're obviously men as well are, are in domestic um abuse relationships right yeah but obviously it's 99 percent probably female uh, that are in an abusive relationship yes um but the reasons they decide to stay right because they think they can change that right person, because they want to give another because they don't want to break the family because what other people will say because whatever reason that it's really realistic and that he's not always a schmuck yes yeah really realistic for people to keep giving excuses mm -hmm. for their abuser because they love them or they want them to change. Right, right? and not just from a pure enabling place. Even though it's frustrating from an audience perspective. Right, like, or a mother's perspective. Yes. You're like, he's not going to fucking change. Exactly. He just is fucking the, leave him. He's the scorpion. Yes. Yes, he's going to sting you. Just, just fucking leave him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but obviously... I, I applaud them for not because obviously I think that would have been more unrealistic. Very much. If it had um, just been he's mean, let's hurt him. It's the it's the end. That would have been not yeah. realistic. As opposed to the the more realism aspect they went, uh, and I thought VJ did a, a really good job at playing the gaslighter essentially, mm -hmm. like obviously being the abuser, uh, and then the next morning it's like you're so mad at me, right? Like, Come on. Right. You have to give me a kiss goodbye. Right. I, mean, I, I was drinking a little too much. Right. And so, like, the, the writing, and then obviously, the, he's a good actor. Right. And so, I think his performance helped that a lot. I bet he asked a lot of questions mm -hmm. about no, sure. what they were intending. Yeah. You know? Um, the, the thing I also wanted to credit him for in a big, big way was he he didn't play drunk. Yeah. <laughs> he He was the way a lot of alcoholics are. They don't really show the signs of the alcoholism in the, you know, the fumbling, bumbling, mm -hmm. slurred speech, falling around drunkenness. Mm -hmm. And I really loved that aspect of it. There may be people who'd see that and think, I don't believe he was drunk. And I think they'd be missing the fact that, that not all alcoholics manifest it that yeah. way. Uh, another one, uh, Shafali Shah. I loved, uh, obviously, her performance, but um, her relationship with Alia. Was I love their comedy. Fantastic. The comedy. The unspoken uh, comedy. And I was also told that the subtitles were utter garbage. Oh, really? Yeah, like multiple people in our group that uh, watched it. Yeah. And they said, the subtitles, they said, uh, you'll still enjoy the film. And obviously I did. But the subtitles do not do justice to what the actual Hindi is saying. Like when he, he, she called him a coward, yeah. she's like, that word is so much worse than calling a man a coward. Okay. Whatever that word was. Right. Uh, and she said there were so many instances of this throughout the film. Um, that <laughs> and happens. so that's unfortunate, but unfortunately that's the only film that we can watch because we don't fully yep, know Hindi, we right? right. We but, can, we're picking, we're slowly picking up things, <laughs> but, but we're not there yet. Uh, her, her. You could obviously see the care in her eyes, and then uh, all that. I love the the whole aspect of the the younger man that oh, falls I did for her. I you, you, I knew it. Too. Oh yeah, you you could see I it. Could, coming. I, I knew like, he, he no, loved he doesn't. Her. What I was like, yeah, he didn't have an affair with her. He loves no, Shafali. He loves Shafali Shah. Uh, <laughs> and I love their whole. Obviously, when it happened, and yeah. then she was just starts kissing him, and I love that whole dynamic there. I did too. Um, and the, all that. Um, well, uh, there was another thing I was going to say about Shafali. The comedy? Because I I love yeah. their, just their glances and the quiet. I love the quiet comedy moments. Good chemistry. There, there was one when they came back and they were with him and he's gesturing and doing things and he shows them a tomato and they're like, you went to buy tomatoes? What? <laughs> that, that was really funny. Yeah, they did obviously <laughs> a, a really good job. Um, 
the end, obviously, uh, at first, when he got hit by the, uh, the, the train, once again, this is spoilers. Yeah, I hope you saw it. When he gets hit by the train, obviously, I was like, he's going to get hit by a train. He was backing up, and I was right, like, right, right. he's going to get hit. But, and I was like, eh, I don't, I don't love it. Right. I do, I do love it more than, obviously, just them letting him go, oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. They, they, I was like, they have to do one of the two, because they can't be seen as murderers. Because, right. obviously, this is, a, this is a commercial film. Right. That's, that's murder, Ollie, even though he deserves it, right? You, unfortunately, you just can't put that out on the screen. Right. Right? Uh, or they're going to um, let him go, and then you're like, well, just, you're just letting an abuser get away. And right, because so if you let him get away, he's going to go do it to another I woman. I knew something was going to happen. Yeah. But I did love the twist. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, of the, 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 the twist twist, right? Yeah, the, if, the twist within the twist. Uh, of the fact that the mom... Did that killed with the dad. Her dad. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially. And I don't know what the relationship with the other guy was. I, I don't either. Maybe he was just a good Samaritan. Maybe he was a family if, friend. I That wasn't clear to me. Yeah. I don't know if he was maybe even like her brother-in-law or she just, I don't know. Mm. I just know that he was connected. I too liked that yeah. twist aspect of it. The fact that, and, and then I was also like, was him backing into it planned? Right. As well. Right. At first I was like, it, obviously it was an accident he was doing whatever and maybe it maybe it was but then the end makes you rethink that though. right because obviously her recording mm-hmm. only a certain only aspect, certain parts of it them knowing and g- going on and um knowing that she was going to play the whole video on mm-hmm. on social media but that was seren- he was going to die that was serendipitous because they were going to make it look like a suicide dropping him off the balcony yeah. So that's why she was doing it that way. It just happened to turn out it worked in her favor because he got hit by a train. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because the end makes makes me really think that because <laughs> they weren't ever going to let him live. I think they were. I think they just wanted to make it look like more of an accident. I think they were, and I think because that makes the moral to the story happen when she says to her mom at the train station, at the train tracks, when she goes back to get VJ, and she says, "I, I it." I'm bec- I'm not going to be a scorpion. I'm not I'm not I'm becoming a scorpion too if I kill yeah, him. Yeah, but then the end kind of changes all that. But I do think that's accidental. The fact that they this was all this was all planned the entire time. Yeah. So, but it was when they were going to drop him off the balcony. That was she, supposed to look like a suicide. But it, she, she's now the scorpion though. If if they meant for even though they obviously untied him did they know the other train was going to come? Obviously, I don't think so. They could clearly see the train. The train doesn't just come out of nowhere. Well, they could, but that would require him to walk into it. They but, didn't push him into obviously it. Obviously, he was under medication. Yeah, but still. I'm and they saying. were shocked that he died. I just think it worked serendipitously in their favor. I think it, I think, I don't know, I think it might have been on purpose. And now the thing. I think they killed him. The thing that I had a problem with that strained credulity for me mm. was two factors. One was the onset of his cirrhosis of the liver. And then, so if somebody is such a bad alcoholic that they have cirrhosis of the liver, which pain is typically not the first symptom. There's a lot of other symptoms that happen first. But if you're that bad of an alcoholic, you're not going to go more than five, 10 hours max after your last drink before you're going to start demonstrating some pretty hefty withdrawal symptoms. I'm talking tremors, vomiting, bad stuff. Mm. So the fact that none of that manifested for me was really rough. For me. It was like, how did we not think, I mean, maybe we did think to cover that and we thought that maybe the audience is just not going to be aware of those things, but even still, you're going to be aware of them. Maybe you educate those who don't know that, that's what happens in an alcoholic and that that is not how the first manifestations of cirrhosis takes place in a movie that's really wanting to send a message i found that to be weird Mm. to not be believable Mm. and real with the alcoholism aspect of it Mm. but that's really those are really my only like complaints with it were that aspect and then the fact that i had i had hoped it was going to become a little bit darker but at the same time, like I said, if I heard the rationale behind it and knowing that, I, you know, your first time producing something, on the one hand, the artist and her... It's also, not, I don't think, not just the first time producing something. It's just Indian cinema. You that's know. what I said. To, that's what I said as well to Indrani. I said, how much... And often, <sighs> they often don't go because... I know, but... The, but the audiences aren't there, unfortunately. I know that, but so what do you do? 
because I think they're fine with their audiences thinking this is dark enough for this style of film. Yeah, but why then? Because then that calls into question are you are you telling a story in such a way that it'll be acceptable to your audience or are you going to tell a story just because you have a story you want to tell? I think as a producer you kind of have to look at both unfortunately. Well, as a producer you do, but most she's most a producer. But she's also an artist. But she's a producer. Yeah, but she's also an artist. So like But this is her money. Well, Quentin produces everything he does. And I don't think he gives a rat's ass about what people expect of him. Well, he's also at a different stage of his career. Yeah, he's been that way since day one. I think again, An I think Anya also, Rog is exactly the same way in Hindi cinema. I think he just he's going to tell a film that he wants to tell. We and if it's not palatable to the broader audience, we haven't seen Bombay Velvet. Yeah, I know, but but I just I understand decisions that are made. But in a great example this week, when you make a decision that's based purely on the business side of things, um, which is what Warner Brothers claims was the rationale about killing Batgirl, mm. if that's a really good film, I, 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 I can't imagine it was... The purist in me doesn't want people to make decisions based on whether or not it's going to do well versus it's going to say something well. Unfortunately, producers are always going to make sure it doesn't. I don't know, of course that's, they are, but that's, ultimately... That's their job. But she, And that's the thing. She's the producer. So she could, she could make any film she wants to make if she's producing it. But she also wants to make the money. This is why you shouldn't be a producer. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I would Not be a... very... No, I'll give you an example. I absolutely would want to have creative control over, say, Barbarian being turned into a film, and I don't care how much money was offered to me. Whatever things they said needed to be done to change the story to make it palatable, they would have to go take a flying leap off a bridge, and I don't care who it is that was telling me that's the way it needed to be done. If that meant it wasn't done, I would say, that's fine. I'm not going to have the film told in a way that I think does violence to the text that I wrote and tells it in a way that waters down the truth of what I wanted to convey from my heart just so it can make money. But also, they might not have wanted to tell our dark story that's why i would love to have been in the pitch meeting so. i would have loved the whole idea it might not have been a consideration uh, it just may have been from the get-go this is this weird blend of comedy and dark we want to do and uh, I, that's that's why i i don't know any oh also um i did want to talk the the younger guy who fell in love with your father th i thought did a really oh, good, did a very good job seen him in, in a couple things uh, uh see you soon uh so did the police uh, officers as well yeah, every, yeah everybody I mean, was everybody was, was good abishek and obviously i don't know if this is his team or if these are just other uh um, directors and well. i want to know um from vishal bardwaj there's a moment when they get in, when the cops go to break in the house and the, the, the guy who loves Shafali Shah opens the door, that character, when they're first in there, it's, if it's happenstance, it's weird, but it was direct same musical sequence as a musical sequence from a 1986 film starring Sean Connery and Christian Slater called The Name of the Rose. Mm. It was, it started and I went, that's The Name of the Rose, man. So I'd love to know if that if that's happenstance, it's really weird. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was just an ode. Yeah, I don't know. It could have been a little tip of the cap to to that melodic structure. I did not catch. It. I've never seen that film. Yeah, it's a very good film. Um, but uh, oh, I also want to shout out the per production design and lighting departments. Uh, I thought a lot of uh, uh, shots were really beautifully lit in this. So the cinematographer uh, Anil. Meta uh, and the production designer Gurima Mathur, mm. I thought did a really good job. I, re I actually really enjoyed the lighting in this. Um, it, yeah, it wasn't like uh, Sanjali Ben Sali, but obviously that's not what they were asking. No, 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 exactly. Um, but I thought they did a, a really good job. Um, I did too. Like? I just couple things: the smartness of the movie. Like there were so many times where things were interwoven, and I don't know how much they were wanting to do it. But there were so many things that were touching on superstitions mm -hmm. that it was it was it was very clear there was more that was done with an intentionality behind it. Oh yeah, because then she eventually walked the black cat's path. Right, <laughs> black cat's um, path. And the, some of the lines were really good. Like, um, why do men turn into such monsters when they are drunk? Because women let them. Mm. 
And then this is an amazing line that's probably the anchor for this character, for VJ. Why would I abuse you if I didn't love you? <laughs> Gaslighting. Yeah, but I bet you, if I bet the writing of that and his interpretation of that was 100% he believes that. Oh, yeah. He believes 100%. If I didn't care, I wouldn't get so violent. I only get violent and upset about things that really matter to me. And there's a truth in that, which is what makes it so insidious. Yeah. But that's the credit to the writing. Um, yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of lines like that. And then obviously just the, the comedy of it all. And like, especially like the police station when they thought that they just overheard their re small time yeah. conversation. Yes. On the phone. <laughs> they're both, they're both really good at comedy. Oh yeah. Easily. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed the film. Uh, I'm so glad it came out well. Uh, yeah, I'm I, glad it turned out well. And uh, I hope um, Indian cinema kind of gets away from this trend of just having blockbusters in theaters. and Because obviously I'm sure that's why they did this. In, in yeah, on OTT. it was safer. By far. And Shahid's next film, Bloody Daddy, is on. It's on Voot. It's going to be an OTT. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're just going to Renvier's uh, film. Probably, if it was coming out in six months, probably would be OTT. It's unfortunately, it's just where the trend is right now. And yeah. I just hope it changes because I don't. I think more films other than the RRs and KGFs of the world deserve. They do. And, and, uh, or Brahmastra as well. Obviously, those do deserve theatrical releases, but so do smaller films. That's why I'm was so happy Coda won Best Picture yeah. because that's the kind of film that deserves a theatrical release and for people to experience it on the big screen. Um, and I know it's accessible to more people, obviously, when you get it on Netflix, but I was like, eh. It's just a gripe of mine. Yeah, me too. But anyways, let us know what you thought about the film uh, and uh, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, and a, what should be our next of all of them. Alia, yeah. Shafali. And VJ. VJ. And uh, uh, the other uh, man yeah, as well, and, Ro Ro Roshan. Yeah, and Roshan Matthew. Uh, I thought uh, they all did a phenomenal job. Everybody should be very proud of and this. And I really, I hope I read some news that, that says that this did really, really, really well for, for Alia and keep being... It's, your, it, it's the year of Alia. Yeah, keep doing your eternal uh, sunshine. I love the name of the production company. And... Uh, got four films this year. Yeah, that's true. R R R. That's true. Gunga, uh, whatever that one was called. Yeah, Gunga Bai. And then R R R. This R -R, one, this and, then one now and now Brahmastra. And that's the only ones I know about. Yeah. So and now I hope you've got something in the hopper that'll get you. She does. It's a baby. No, 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 no. No. Oh. That. I oh, mean, okay. I would love to see a like more film festival type of film, like an Uda Punjab or a, or a Razi, um, where she's back into something that's very, you know, film festivaly, no, that she... kind of film. She's doing, she's doing something with Gal Gadot. She is. I don't know how. Please let that be sizable and not just be no, a freaking. I think she's actually supporting with. Okay, good. I hope I, so. I think. But, um, I you know, be because, I mean, the last time she did anything that was of worth for the film festival circuit was clearly Kalank. Oh, my God. Alia, please come on the channel. I'll kill him. Don't worry. <laughs> let us know what you thought about the film down below. <laughs>